Hi everyone and welcome back to the Busy Podcast where we talk to creatives about the behind the scene of the creative industry. So our guest today is Felix Vernos, a professional photographer and is based in Berlin based and in between actually Berlin and and, and Austria, right? Yeah. That's so um, so we met a few years ago and uh, we were both working uh, for a production company assisting. And um, so a lot of great time. It was great working with mm-hmm. you. Um, sometimes it was stressful, not working with you, but it was uh, always it, stressful. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was always hard. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But uh, I did. A lo- I did have a lot of fun. Um, so nowadays you work as a photographer. Yeah. And um, yeah, l- l- let's talk about your journey. I would. Um, how did you? How did you? How did you get into photography? I, I was never supposed to do anything with photography, actually, but I. I was uh, applying for an art school in Austria because I had no idea what what I'm going to do. Um and my parents have an interior design company. So there was a branch at the school uh which deals with interior design and stuff like that. And I was applying for that actually, but we had kind of an entrance exam where yeah. you have to yeah to do like test and so on yeah exactly yeah. yeah but for every branch i think they okay. got like eight different branches um and there was a photography branch as well and i took some pictures and the the guy who was uh, kind of the boss of this branch was happy with my pictures so he came to me and was like uh felix you should not go do interior designer <laughs> you should start uh doing pictures okay and so I was you like, are okay let's do that <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and i think it was a good idea okay yeah. cool so i yeah went to the school for five years uh was studying photography and after school i w- was without a plan again <laughs> yeah so and that's uh so uh, and then but you decided to to stay with photography and uh, what did you do after after school like no plan uh, yeah i i fell in love with photography actually i we we the, the 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 school was full with big prints of of graduated students who was taking pictures and they uh their pictures got printed and i was standing in front of these pictures and was like okay i want to do something like that so yeah i was really into it from day one okay nice uh, and uh, so do you remember like okay from from being a student after school so what did you do after school like did you did you i was actually lost <laughs> <laughs> i was uh lost because I, i i grew up in a very small town in austria i moved to graz i think a lot of you know graz it's the second largest city in austria which is kind of sad but <laughs> yeah <laughs> um and i i moved to vienna because i i thought when i moved to vienna it's it's kind of a big start there and i will get a lot of jobs but i didn't <laughs> i was waiting and waiting and there was no no job for me so i was like uh maybe it's vienna and i don't feel the city so maybe it's better somewhere else and then i applied in berlin i mean at that time i didn't know that i was applying for a job in berlin <laughs> i was just applying for that job and then uh when i got back that mail i was oh it's in berlin let's do that and uh five days after applying i flew to berlin okay yeah that's okay but th- that's great yeah. actually because so you were able so so you spent a bit of time in vienna and uh, and then you applied for a job in berlin and you were able just to go to berlin and uh, exactly. okay yeah. that okay yeah. that's pretty cool in the uh, so i guess the the job was uh with the production we were uh exactly. for okay yeah. cool yeah and i mean I, i i was supposed to do work there as a photo assistant but it turned out that the guy we both know uh built up a production company yeah so i worked i actually didn't work a day for a photo assistant <laughs> yeah <laughs> i mean we had a lot of photo productions yeah but i was a producer there for over an over a year i guess yeah because at, at that point it was more for like video and yeah. music videos yeah. and so on yeah exactly. yeah, yeah 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 
Yeah, that's actually the why I I, I got there. Uh, more for for yeah for music uh, videos and and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, but that's great. So you had a lot of uh time to actually to see like a professional how it was working, like how he was managing the business and so on in a way. He was kind of studying photography again. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I mean, I went to that school and it was concentrated in art, not in, in commercial side, yeah. stuff and, and how to get the business out of it. So it was the best way to, to give first to get a, to know a lot of people and to get a lot of connections and to get the few for this industry yeah actually you know what i'm 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 happy you you talk about connections because i do think this is uh still uh, a field where connections are vital you know like you need to know people if you want to get jobs it's not just about i think it's the only thing that the you only thing can yeah go big yeah, yeah because i mean I, I feel like there's so many people they can they are good photographers, especially right now with social medias and stuff. Yeah. On Instagram you can you can see a lot of people taking great pictures, but at the same time being able to take great pictures it doesn't mean that you can be a great photographer or running a business. That's true. That <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes, and, and that's that's um that's the thing. How did you when did you when did you uh think about going from being an assistant or assisting to you know what because as you said you tried in vienna but you were super young i guess at, the, at that point i mean i i had a lot of jobs before moving to vienna okay. but it, it was it was kind of wedding stuff and couple stuff and for small companies and for like clients from my parents but i was not happy to to do this thing all over my life so i thought back in Vienna that I will get more fashion jobs and, and uh, taking pictures of like cooler people, yeah, like no, artists. And yeah, because right now your, your focus is mainly on uh, fashion and editorial and, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, from night, uh, from, from right, yeah. to, from now on. Sorry. Yeah, 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 from yeah, now on, from yeah, now yeah, on. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so but but, but I, I am very curious about like after, after, uh, after school, after the production company, so you have more um, experiences and so on. But now, with all these experience you have, what are the, the biggest challenges you have to face like as a, as a, as a professional photographer? The biggest challenge? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's always the biggest challenge to, to end up with good pictures. <laughs> but the biggest challenge is, is to keep focused, actually. I think one of the, one of the most interesting things is nowadays like uh, as as a so anyone who wants to wants to try to be a professional photographer or creatives in general yeah. i think one of <coughs> the biggest uh one of the biggest problem is how to find clients how to how to start like you know i want to be i want to be a photographer so Maybe what I'm going to do is like, okay, let's see. I'm going to have my social media. I'm going to try to get my, my website and this kind of stuff. But that's not enough. And we all know that because, I mean, you, you go there. Okay, cool. But now you need to find people to work with, so yeah. clients. And so the thing is, like, you, you went to school. You had uh, some jobs. Then you moved to Berlin, and you had uh, the experience of the production company. So y you did grow as a as a as a professional and as a photographer and so you have more experience so but nowadays how is uh how do you find your own clients how do you what are the biggest challenge uh challenges to to you know to stay in the business to 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 create like a business as a as a photographer uh the biggest challenge is to do to uh show your work and to connect with people it, it's always that word of mouth thing yeah that you i mean it it i think it's the only way to to get more jobs and bigger jobs uh when you always connect with people and it doesn't matter if if these are graphic designers or i don't know yeah CEOs whoever in the industry of, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah yeah but it i think it it, it doesn't need someone from the industry it could be anyone because when someone likes you and he'll he she 
yeah. who likes your work, uh, they want to work with you. And I think that's the, the uh, biggest deal that you always have to connect with people, to get to know more people and to get jobs. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, you know, and um, as a, as a, let's say, as a young person who wants to try, would you would you say that, for example, because I'm just thinking out, out loud, uh, let's say I want to create my portfolio, I want to try to be, a, for example, a fashion photographer, so I'm gonna probably I'm gonna try to reach out to model agencies to you know take them some uh, test shoots or yeah. whatever. And um, so especially, I think in the beginning, you have to put there a bit of money for sure, right? I mean, like yeah. your own money. Always, to, still. Yeah. Still. I mean, when you're shooting editorial, you, you still have to yeah. pay your own shoots. So, so yeah. yeah. But this is one good, uh, like, is an option where you can actually find, as you were saying, like, good connections to work with again. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because, uh, yeah, if you work with, for example... Um, some makeup artists that you really like the works and they call you back, yeah. you know, that's how to, you can, you know, amplify. I don't know, even know if it's the right word, but you can, you can make your, your connections and, and you're right. Yeah. That's something that, uh, I think could be a great idea. Yeah. I'm still testing. Testing is always a thing because you get to know a lot of booker from model agencies. You get to know the models and it's always a, a good thing when you, no models on set because then you i i mean i think it you 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 seems more professional when you know a lot of people um but yeah it's but you know okay yeah. but you know what uh, w w quick question uh, about like knowing more people do you think for example like especially in, if we talk about fashion or uh, on this uh let's say niche um but do you think like like getting to know more models could like lend you more jobs? Could it be that someone wants to work with someone? Yeah, and they because ask for you? if the model is 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 good, she's always talking about other people okay. who, are, who who are doing a good job. So when the model is speaking with the client, and the client knows other clients, uh, and they they heard your name, like two or three times a month then they're thinking about to work with you as well. Okay, well then, that could be a good advice for whoever, for the people who are listening to yeah. us. Like, uh, yeah, so make sure you... You got a lot of friends. <laughs> 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 You're a good person and yeah. you, you can make a lot of friends and connections. Yeah. No, but it, it is true. Like, um, I think, uh, yeah, to get your name out there and have more people to talk about, about you or yeah. get to know you i i assisted a few photographers and and it's the same there so they always telling me get to know more more people and then you get jobs but that's so yeah it is I the uh, a funny thing is i feel it's always the the old story like there's no one um magic formula to 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 be able to create a business it's just like uh kind that's of yeah. yeah kind of in my case it's it's yeah. No, but it is like I want to do something. So, and everyone I talk to is just—it's more about get out there, try your stuff, uh, you know, create your connections, yeah, and maintain the connections because I think it's also—I mean, uh, you know it probably more than me, but uh, being able to w when you try to create your own business or so making connection and so on, like being always there, like ready to meet people talking to them and uh you know all the time i think it's hard because i'm i'm older than you so i'm like yeah, no i don't want to do that but but it no is one knows that. <laughs> <laughs> no but it is vital so by the way do you remember your first client after the, the first uh fashion client you you you, you uh, do you remember my first fashion client yeah. uh my first fashion client um I think it was something with e-commerce. Okay, how did, how did you get any that? any small Instagram brand for sure? Okay, but did you did yeah. you did you reach out to, to to the brand or? I never did actually. <laughs> oh. I never did. I I mean, it, it it would be good, I guess, when I <laughs> when I do it, but I never did. Um, because I always went the other way. It's okay. 
it's always like go to to events okay uh connect with people and then they are coming to me and, and then how they otherwise. okay okay <laughs> okay okay but but i mean i've heard a lot of uh, not a lot of but some um photographers or creatives in general they do try to reach for specific clients you know and uh, they 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 send out like ideas and stuff yeah but otherwise it's uh yeah there is i mean it's also a good way yeah yeah but i can't confirm it because <laughs> i <laughs> i never tried it <laughs> okay so you're more like uh yeah the other kind of, of person like go to event and yeah. making connection and so on but yeah but, but, yeah, but makes sense it makes sense and um i think when you have a good time with people that they want to work with you one day yeah they yeah it, it is true yeah. actually i mean you always have to to take good pictures <laughs> in yeah. the end but in the yeah. end is like i feel like if you got the client you know and they work with you unless you do terribly you know which they uh, keep up working they, with yeah, you they yeah. keep up on working with yeah. you there's a i think sometimes like to be able to do that first step to get The, to have the possibility to work with that specific client and if you do and you don't screw it up like in a very bad way yeah. you have chances to to stay there and work with them more i mean more often yeah that's and, the good and thing. grow with them yeah, yeah exactly also yeah and um uh, absolutely but going back to your first client do mm. i don't want to know who they were yeah. or <laughs> whatsoever but do you remember were you how was the experience like e-commerce and so on okay but did you The first experience was kind of very a lot of pressure on you. Did you feel yeah? Like but the pressure is always there. It's always <laughs> yeah, there. So it didn't change because I, I'm not at this point where I am happy with my work. Okay. So the the pressure is still there. Okay. I mean, like I mean, I, 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 if you by the way, if you want to check uh, Felix works, you can. We're gonna put there the the link for Instagram and so on. But I mean, that's the thing. I feel. That's the funny thing about about uh, people in the creative industry because when you see your own work, you're always so critical. Like yeah. I don't like this, maybe like, and if you But show that's it, that's a good thing. I no, guess. absolutely, yeah. absolutely, because you want to push yourself and exactly. get better. Yeah, I think just it, it's funny because if you show your work to other people, they probably will be like, "Oh my god, that's so amazing!" Yeah, you know, yeah. right? O- also with models, I guess. But that's also a good thing because then you get feedback. Because yeah. when you work freelance as a photographer, most of the time you work alone, yeah. and you have to give yourself feedback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's good if people telling you that you're doing a good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is also true. Yeah. But um, what I wanted to ask you is, um, so right now you work more in in uh, kind of fashion, right? Uh, more people stuff. Actually. Oh, more people. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Not that much fashion, but I want to start working on that. More, more in fashion. On. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how is? I that? mean, fashion. I I want to do start more with editorials doesn't matter if fashion or people because i love both yeah yeah but i i assisted um a fashion photographer actually the whole last year and it was a good experience but i always thought you have to be in that fashion industry to okay. work there but it doesn't matter actually yeah you you can just shoot fashion and and you're good Okay, so Felix, now you are uh, at the point where uh, you have clients and you work and so on. But maybe you, you I mean, it, it, it is what you, what you want to do, or you want to to grow in a different way. You want to try different things. That that's uh, as as a how are you plan to to, uh, you know, your career. I I do want to grow for sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we both know that. Uh, but I actually don't know uh, to which kind of t- i mean fashion is interesting people is interesting commercial is interesting and i'm try to figure out right now which which branch is 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 my well, is, is best for you okay yeah. uh, i mean the good uh, thing is like you can do uh, all of them i mean you can, you yeah, can that's take true. the picture okay that's true but i think you you still have to do uh concentrate yeah to, to one kind of direction to focus on that and to to also get to know the right people in that industry because I think it's difficult to know everyone. So yeah, do you know what I mean? So yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. 
So Felix, um, so you said that um, the connections is is vital, and uh, I hear that a lot actually from other creatives. But in general, I think it's a good advice. Um, then I I think it is interesting because that's the thing is like if i can put myself in the shoes of someone who is who's uh, for example like 15 18 uh even 20s or so on and i want to start like i want to be a photographer and as you said like i do need to make this connection right but i have no idea where to start yeah i mean you did to school you, you went to school and uh, that's great so one thing could be like school and uh yeah but that was more the technical part yeah, of it. Uh, yeah. exactly yeah and uh, assisting could be great as you uh, i think yeah. right but beside that i mean how how could i could i get those connections how can i can i reach out to to these people there are a few ways i guess i mean we still have instagram so you can oh, yeah. <laughs> you can write people that they are doing a, a great work you can go to events you can assist as you mentioned you can you can do internships maybe to, because when you do an internship for like three months you get to know like thousands of people um what else you, But, yeah you can you can shoot people i mean when you when you like a, a small artist from your village or city just shoot them <laughs> yeah no yeah 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 absolutely yeah. but uh, yeah okay But I think in the end, anyway, like there's a lot of work to put there. Like uh, the it thing is, is uh, there's no like a uh, perfect answer to that, I guess. It isn't. But everyone has to find their own way, like uh, yeah. and try and try and try. That's the and there is more work beside the pictures than the picture. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, can I ask you something? Like, like you also edit your pictures, or I, I, I'm always doing the the kind of color grading. But I don't do retouch okay. because I don't want to sit hours yeah. in front of the MacBook and retouching. Yeah. Pictures. So you have your own retoucher right now? Yeah. Or? Okay. Yeah. Well. So in the beginning, you were doing everything by yourself, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and when did you decide? Okay, now I need to have like someone retouching my pictures. After that time at that production company, actually, because it was the first time that I saw that. A picture is is work f from a team and not from a single person. Okay. Yeah. So. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's interesting because actually this point of view is, of course, from someone who is into production. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Because yeah, that's something that to save time uh, or or to know that you need someone else to do like a specific job. Is is a uh, yeah because you are into specific production, but yeah, it makes sense. And how do you feel like now having your own retoucher? Actually, uh, I mean, it feels good. <laughs> it, <laughs> it also feels good to have makeup artists and stylists and and uh, light assistants and and a crew. Okay, so, couple of years I shot everything on my own, and you have to build up the the studio. You have to get the equipment. You have to. Yeah, to do make up if own, someone yeah. asks you. Um, but when your chops get bigger, you have to budget to for to hire different people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then it it it's crazy that you see it in the pictures when like four or five people work on that single picture and not just two. not just one. Yeah. yeah, because that's another thing actually. Because that's it's easy to watch. Uh, I think again, on social media and so on, but you see one picture from example, um, Annie Libovitz or another great uh, photographer, but yeah. you see like a great picture and you're like, oh, wow. But it's always, I think it's good to remind us that, I mean, the photographer, of course, the, the, the job is, is great and uh, is fundamental, but in the end, the final image is a, a team effort. Yeah, it is. That's I mean, any, Leibowitz has a team with of 20 people, yeah. I guess. So yeah. I, you so. cannot be, I mean, you can. You have to be hard on yourself because you um, you want to improve. But at the same time, I mean, keep in mind that all the picture you you see, especially like on Vogue, for example, the cover, yeah. I mean, it's not just the someone who took the picture, but it's like a, a really a, a team effort. Exactly. And yeah. I think that, <laughs> yeah. But, but, but actually you don't need budget for it. So you, uh, when you're young, 
there are also young makeup artists and yeah. young stylists and other young people who want to push their work. So it, it's not always budget wise that you can't do a great picture. That's actually another thing, like how yeah. to get connections, like uh, try to find other people with your own interests and, exactly. and they want and to when they yeah when they are growing faster than you you got the connection to use yeah. that <laughs> is something that you also did like uh you know in the beginning especially like uh trying to having friends like in the same uh with the same uh interest and that you guys work together and you keep on working together um i did not okay <laughs> I did not because um, I went to that school and we never learned that a picture needs a team. So I didn't know it actually. Um, but when I saw at that production company that, that a video is out of like 20, 30 people, I was like, oh, I also need a team. And then I started to, to ask friends who were doing makeup beside or yeah. doing styling beside or just got a got a passion for fashion for example and yeah and i start now to work with really professionals in their specific job okay cool yeah. okay nice okay so one last question for you felix uh that's something that i think um yeah i think it's uh if if you with all the experience you have right now and the uh, you know, and, and you grow as a, as a, as an artist and so on. So if you, what is the, the biggest advice you, you could give to like someone who wants to uh, try to make it as a, as a photographer? Um, I think that the best advice is to, to keep shooting like all the time. You have to take a lot of pictures to, to get better. Um, and the best advice, because it was the best advice for me, is to get to know a lot of people it's uh, it's the main thing i guess and to shoot tests to try out new cameras to try it out and to find out which i mean i, I if fashion is yours or people stuff like uh, stuff yeah like you're, you're a niche kind of yeah, yeah, yeah exactly and another advice um maybe assisting it's, okay. it's the usual or the, the cliche way no, but yeah. to, to get bigger. But it's it's good because you can't work with the best people in that industry with 18. <laughs> so when you're assisting bigger photographers, you get that connection and you can use them later on when you got these big jobs. Okay. Okay. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's actually, yeah, yeah. that's true. Okay, cool. I think we are at the end of the podcast for this, I mean, the, the, the episode. And uh, thank you so much for being our thank guest. You. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time.